Hey there, this is René for GNS Trivolt, and in this lab I'm going to show you how to configure a network address translation and port address translation. And path is the same thing as overload. Uh, okay, so in this example I got two routers, router Emma and Alice. And those two routers are on my internal network. On the outside we got a web server and we got router pad, pad in the middle here. And that's where I will do the network and port address translation. So let me show you how to do this. Um, okay, so let's go to router pad, router pad. And what I'm going to do is this network range over here. That's where my internal users are. And this is my IP address on the outside. So IPnet outside and IPnet inside. Next step, create an access list um, to tell the router which uh, hosts on the internal network have to be translated. So that'll be the whole 123 range, like this. That's the access list. And then we will configure our network address translation. Uh, IPnet inside source, that'll be my access list. And then I want to translate it to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. And here is your magic keyword overload. Uh, if you add this keyword, then it will do port address translation. So overload. Here we go. Now let's see what happens if I um, look at router Emma or Alice. And if I try to reach the web server, we can see if the translation is working or not. So let's go to router Emma. And let me check the IP address of the web server here. That's 34.4. Let's go to router Emma, see if we can reach it. Okay, so it's working. Let's check router Alice as well. Ping. 34.4. Okay, so it seems to be working. And if we go to our router that's doing NOT and POT, we can do show IP net translation. And you can see that it's working because it's translating. You can see the entries here for ICMP. And you can see the IP addresses that we have. And you can also see the port numbers over here. Um, so let me check what happens if I try to connect to port 80. So that's the web server address. It says open, so I can connect to it. Let's do the same thing on Alice, port 80. And then let's check our configuration here. And this is a better example than ICMP, that ping. So you can see there's an entry here for 123.1. So that's router Emma. And you can see the port number over here. So that's the source port. You can see the destination port 80 over here. And this entry over here is for router Alice. And you can see if I refresh it by using the show command again, uh, after a while the translations will expire. So you can see that the ICMP entries over here are now gone. And if I wait a little longer, these two TCP entries will expire as well. Um, so that's, uh, that's basically it. This is how you can configure network address translation and port address translation. So let me show you the config one more time. Make sure you put the correct IP net outside or inside on your interfaces. Um, create an access list to make sure you define the host that you want to translate. So in my example, I'm translating the whole 123 range here. And then this command will put everything together. Inside source access list 1. And we want to translate it to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. And overload, that means you also want to translate the 
port numbers. So that's it. This is how you can configure network address translation with port address translation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and till next time.